Okay, this tutorial is going to be something that a lot of people have asked about. And basically, what it is, it's going to show you how you can put your logo in the black area of the video here. As you look around, you can see, and then if you go down, this, this was obviously filmed um, right side up, you can see the logo. So it adds a little bit more graphics to your to your video and we're going to show you how to do that now first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a new sequence it's going to be a 1504 by 1504 so it's H264299 sequence it's going to be a square right here what I'm going to do it's going to be blank um, you can put graphics on the back if you want. The easiest to kind of start with is just a black screen. I'm going to import my logo. Grab that logo, put it on the timeline. Right, shows up right in the center. That's exactly where you want it to be. Um, and it's probably a pretty good size. You can adjust it based on whatever you want. So, okay, I'm going to make this about a minute long. I'm going to export that out as an MP4. So, I'm going to make it bottom logo. Make some changes here. And go ahead and export it. Okay, now that, that export is almost done. I'm going to grab it here, just open it up and show you what it is. Shrink it to size here. It's just a 1504 by 1504 with our logo. Okay, and so what I'm going to do, have this at the bottom of, a, of another video. I'm going to go ahead and import that video that, that I am going to put it at the bottom of. This was a Five seconds of summer interview for Jingle Ball that we did. So I'm just going to open that up. I'm going to take one minute of it. Kind of match the, the length. And get rid of that. Export that as well as five seconds of summer the desktop. All right, now that that's wrapped up, we have two spherical videos. We can start doing the other part that will do it. I'm going to import both of the new videos into Director. This is the five seconds of summer one. And I'm going to import the logo. Okay, I'm not going to go find them. Here they are, the five seconds of summer and the bottom logo. It doesn't really matter what they look like right now because like this one, we're using it for, it's just in the right spot. So we will figure that out and then this one should actually 
be pretty right, normal. Stage, Jingle Ball, it's JoJo on the radio. There's Sis, there's Jesse, all sandwiched in between the fellas of five seconds of summer. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the option share little things to export out this video as a flattened version or as equi rectangular. So you click the option on a Mac, I think it's Alt on a PC, and the share button of the thumbnail, and it will spit out a, a flattened version, a 2560 by 1280 uh, flattened version of the file that you want. So now this logo is almost converted. Obviously, I'm cutting out some of the time it takes to convert it. It's taking about two to three minutes to, uh, to do each one of these, I think, because I'm using the screen recording software as well. But now that that one is, I'll show you what it looks like if you can see it in the screen. It actually just distorts it like this along the top. So I'll show you how we fix that and how that ends up being a normal looking piece of the puzzle. But for right now, we're going to go back in and option click the share button thumbnail for the five seconds of summer video that we want to flatten. All right, we now have, well in a minute, we'll have both of our flattened 360 degree videos that we're going to use for the final product. Um, flattened, I also mean equi rectangular, so they're long and rectangular. This is the format that YouTube and Facebook expects to see a video. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our newly flattened logo down in this area here. But to do that, we have to go back to Adobe Premiere. All right, we're going to do new sequence. This sequence is going to be a director export because it's the 2560 by 1280 at 299. Then we're going to import our new files. Which is okay, and the logo. So in Premiere, we're going to drag our clip in here. Should fit. It's got all everything in here. And on top, I'm going to put the bottom logo. First thing you'll notice is that it is up on the top. What I'm going to do with that is just flip the effects, flip, vertically. So now it's down at the bottom where we want it, and I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to bring the top down. Right to where this starts. So now that we got the two together, we've already flipped it vertically. Now I'm going to flip it horizontally so that when it comes back together, it'll be um, able to be read. Okay, so now I'm going to export this as one file. Should be all set. There we go, five 
five seconds of summer two. Save it and export. All right, as this one's wrapping up, um, we have to be aware that since we took it out of Director and brought it into a nonlinear editing program, we are going to need to re inject metadata so that YouTube and Facebook knows that it's a 360 degree video. By bringing it into the editing system, we basically um, ripped out all that information. So you can download um, the YouTube metadata tool, just Google it. They have a little app for Mac or PC, super easy to use. It's just this little square here. You go grab your, grab your video. Click spherical, and then save as. It'll say five seconds of summer is injected on your desktop. Perfect. And it did it. I quit that. Pull up YouTube. Upload my injected file. And wait for it to upload. Now, we also get things saying that it, you know, it doesn't, uh, it's not interactive once I upload to YouTube or Facebook. YouTube takes a long time for it to go through all its encoding and then add the metadata, I think, at the very last step. So after you upload, once it says done, give it about a half hour to an hour and come back and take a look at it. It usually takes that long before it shows up interactively. It'll show up as a flattened version first. Um, but if you come back in about an hour, it'll, it'll be interactive. Uh, I like to then open it in Chrome, like I'll do here, to test the interactivity because it seems to um, uh, get to Chrome faster. Once the processing's done and you can see the thumbnail, go ahead and grab that URL. I like to grab it and... Um, Like I said, I like to check it in Chrome. That's what it's going to come up with at first, meaning that it hasn't done all its encoding or everything. Um, and we'll just keep checking back. Right, backstage, okay. Radio, As you can ball. see, the, the video has yeah, encoded. And if we scroll down, we see our nice logo at the bottom. Interesting process, interesting way to go about it, um, but it does get your logo at the bottom. Brings out a little bit more um, graphical element for people that are using this for business. Just wanted to let you know how to do that. Hope it helps. Thanks, and take a look around the forum for other tips and tricks that can help you get the most out of your 360 camera. Thanks.